Hi right, again folks, in this video, let's take a look at Rasmus Dahlin's numbers when Tuck is in the lineup. Coming up. All right, shout out goes to 88-23 Samuel. And he asked me if I could do a video basically on uh, what is Dahlin's numbers when uh, Tuck's in the lineup. And I wanted to wait just a, a bit longer, Samuel. That's why I took my time with this video. I wanted to give it a bit of time. But there's enough of a, a stretch of time now we can look at this and just see how it compares, right? There's one interesting uh, stat though I do want to mention on this later, just one. But let's take a look. I'm going to just uh, write up some clips so you'll see them below here as I'm speaking. Okay, let's look without Tuck the record. We'll, we'll start with that first. Okay. Now, you see without Tuck, we're, he, we're 10, 17, and 5 when Darlene doesn't play with Tuck in the lineup. We're 10, 17, and 5. And all together, you look, 32 games played. 6 goals, 13 assists, minus 9, 39 hits, and 29 blocks. Okay, so now, I'll leave that up there until I change it. Now, what we'll do is we'll go with Tuck and we'll take a look. Here we go. Now with Tuck in the lineup, we're 9, 14, and 3 with him. You would think it's better, but uh, there's a glaring thing here. So we're 9, 14, and 3. Uh, 26 games played, 2 goals, 16 assists, minus 6, 39 hits, 39 blocks. Okay. Now, if you look at that, you look at the blocks and the hits, he's averaging, when you, I usually combine them when I look at games, he's averaging about one and a half. Um, he's averaging, yeah, about, uh, sorry, no, about two and a bit, right? 64, 59, 68 in 32 games. But in 26 games, he's averaging 78, he's averaging about three there. That's a bit better. That's not the, the stat I'm gonna show you in a sec though. Now, in the six game skid, if you look, with Tuck, he's a minus six, right? In the six game skid, in five games, Dalim was a minus six. That kind of stood out for me. If you take that losing streak out of there, and his plus minus is pretty decent in all the other games. So that, that, that losing streak really did a lot of harm to a lot of their stats, which is fine, they gotta learn. Now here's, here's some weird stats, guys. This is very bizarre, but it makes sense too. All right, I'm gonna show you this. When Darlene gets one shot or less in a game, we're 10, 10, and four. When Darlene gets three shots or more in a game, we're four, 11, and four. So when the kid is concentrating on taking his man and not being the offensive juggernaut that we all know he is, we know he's offensive, but when he's concentrating just on his defensive game, which he has done, you could see there just the effect it's even had on the team already when this, this guy is doing his thing defensively, right? So th these are just some numbers I wanted to throw up. No point doing a board on this one. It's just these were basic numbers I wanted to look at. They're very similar. The, the record is very similar, I get that. The hits and blocks are higher, of course. I mean, uh, it's had an effect on him that way, I guess. I just think it's just the atmosphere, him getting older, that too, you know? It's not, there's nothing strikingly different about him. I, I, I think because of Tuck, I think Dallin is just maturing. I really just think he's maturing. I think he actually would have done well even Tuck or no, no Tuck this year. I think Dallin was gonna mature. I think Tuck has helped that transition of him believing in himself, maybe in the dressing room more. Who knows what it is off the ice, you know. But uh, definitely Tuck, uh, you know, we, we, we can look all over the place and find good reasons to have him on the team. No doubt about that. So that, uh, those are just some numbers I came up with looking at it. And I found, I, I, I found especially that, that stat of him when three shots or more, when he's trying to, to, to to score more than he is worrying about taking his man, we seem to lose a lot more. We'll see if that number changes over the year. I'm gonna check that at the end of the year most likely, but it's one of those interesting stats. I looked at it and then I thought, you know, 
what, what about that losing streak? This is why I dug into that. I said, what about that losing streak? He played five games, he was a minus six. And you know, if he's a minus six while Tuck is there, you know, that the whole team was hurting in that losing streak, guys. Everything that could have went wrong did. You've seen it. We looked a joke again. It looked like we were just going to be, I, I thought I was going to be frustrated the rest of the year maybe. It was really getting to me. But, you know, the, the guys seen that and, I, and it hurt enough that they just couldn't take it anymore and they took their way out of it. You know, thank God, because I was really stressed back, back during that losing streak. I said, please, dear God, don't tell me we're going to have one of these long-ass losing streaks like 12 games or something. It's like, oh God, I, I just couldn't do it. I can't cope with it, you know? So yeah, Darlene's numbers this year, if you look at them overall, you know, what, what's he at? He's at uh, nine goals. No, sorry, he's at eight goals, 29 assists. You know, he, he's, he's had a good year. I mean, and he, he's a minus 15. I get that. That's an ugly number, but this is a young team that's in the bottom of the league. So that's absolutely normal. It's absolutely normal. But now he's got 78 hits in 58 games. Remember Darlene once upon a time, guys, he wouldn't hit. Remember what was driving us nuts? And his blocks also is 68. So 68 and 58 games. I mean, Darlene's blocks, if there's any area he's gotten a lot better out there, it is his blocking. Not so much the hitting. The hitting's good still. It got better even earlier in the year. But the blocks, he blocks so much better now when he's out there. He does. And it's not just these numbers. He does. He blocks better. And I, I will say something about these, probably these 39 hits, I'm willing to bet you were meaner hits than those 39 hits. I'm willing to bet, guys. Okay, that's it for this one. I got one more coming your way. I'll see you in that one.